Hello everybody, this is Oren. Thanks for joining me for another 4-minute tutorial. Today we're going to talk about color correction, skin tones, and broadcast safe colors using the vector scope. Let's get right into it. What we have here on this first clip is what should be a white dress. You could see it's got an obvious color cast to it. Now, if you're not using a broadcast uh, calibrated monitor, it might be difficult to see what your final output is going to be for the client. So this is where the vector scope can come in handy. Let's open up our vector scope by opening up our reference monitor and making sure you have chosen your vector scope. Now the vector scope is analogous to the color wheel. You've got your red, magenta, blue, cyan, green, and yellow. And the further out the signal goes, the more saturated your image is. The outer box right now is set to 75%, which is broadcast safe. So if you have some brightness area in the 75% box, that is the safe legal limit for broadcast NTSC. And the very center is our white, or black, lack of saturation, basically. So let's move this below our image, our program monitor, so we can see what's going on better. Shrink it down a little bit here. And go ahead and put in a fast color correction filter on top of this clip. Open it up. And remember I said before, this vector scope is analogous to the color wheel, so you got your red at the top, your cyan at the bottom, and your yellow and blue. If you move your color correction in any particular direction, it also moves the vector scope's display. And you can see that as we get closer to the center, we're desaturating the image. We're actually adding cyan blue to the image cools it down and brings us closer to true white. Now with this image it would probably benefit from a little bit of brightening itself so if we want to open up our waveform monitor make sure we're within limits and then go down to our input level we can brighten up that image quite a bit get a nice cleaner image and we're done with that one. Let's go back to our vector scope go on to our next clip. In the next clip we want to see if our skin tones are accurate. So how do you do that in an image that's got a lot of color information as you can see by this vector scope? Well, an easy way is to throw a garbage mat on top. So we could do a four point garbage mat which is probably the fastest and easiest. Click on this and shrink down your mat, grab the corners and just isolate the skin tones. And if they fall on the skin tone line, which is right over here, then you're in good shape. Now, obviously, it could be an oversaturated or an undersaturated image, but we're on the line, which means we're pretty much in the ballpark. All skin tones will fall here, Caucasian, African American, Asian, so you don't have to worry about uh, ethnicity. Okay, let's go on to our last clip over here. Now, for this, we want to check that we have broadcast legal colors. If I enlarge this vector scope, you can see that we are past the 75% mark for yellow here. So that means we're past broadcast safe. And how far past? Let's find out. We'll go into 100%, which shrinks down our reticle a little bit. This becomes the 100% mark. We're past it quite enough. So let's go back, shrink this down. We can fix this by throwing on a broadcast safe filter. Now you do want to go in here and make sure that you are choosing to reduce saturation and your maximum signal. You could leave it at 110 for default if you want to be a little safer. You can go down to 100 or so and you can see how it's taking out the saturation. And now we're in compliance with NTSC broadcast standards. Well, thanks again. That's all the time we have for now. Hope this was helpful.